Three foods is all you need for a nutrient dense diet. These three foods will cover all your nutritional needs. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the three foods that I'll be consuming for the rest of my life. I know that these three foods will help me thrive in the future, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Now, before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps us get the message out there about the carnivore diet, so please go and do that right now. Okay, let's get into it. Number one is butter. You probably didn't expect this, butter to be my top three foods that I'm gonna eat for the rest of my life. Well, butter is a really, really good source of fat and energy that we need for the body. Most carnivores, including myself, try to get at least 75% of their calories from fat. Now, I probably more go for 80% of my calories from fat. And being able to have a fat source that is extremely high in that really healthy fat and energy is something that I definitely need in my diet. So that makes butter the absolute perfect food for this because it's a really healthy source of saturated fat that is going to help me reach that 80% fat need. Now, on that topic of saturated fats, these are full of saturated fats. Now, you think you might be thinking that saturated fats are something that is bad and that's what we've been told pretty much our entire lives. However, recent cutting edge research has found that eating a diet that is high in saturated fat can have some benefits. A diet full of saturated fat can actually be seen to lower your risk of heart disease, strokes, and cancers. In a 1998 study where they looked at saturated fat consumption compared to cardiovascular diseases, they actually found a negative correlation between the two in 1998. You probably wouldn't expect this, but butter does have a decent vitamin profile. Butter contains vitamin A, which promotes healthy skin, vitamin K2, which prevents against coronary heart disease, vitamin E, which is vital for your central nervous system, and also has beta carotene, which converts to retinol or vitamin A in the body, which helps with your skin, helps you reduce acne and be less prone to sunburn. Butter also reduces inflammation as it's high in butyrate. Butter is 6% butyric acid, which specifically helps reduce inflammation in your colon and your gut. Foods that are rich in butyric acid have also proven to improve your sleep, prevent cancer and prevent obesity. Overall, butter is an incredible food that everybody should be eating as it gives you lots of energy, mainly coming from those healthy saturated fats that we need to survive and thrive. Number two is eggs. Eggs are one of the most nutritious foods on the face of the earth. Ditch kale and all the other superfoods because eggs are the real superfood. We were all told for so long that eating eggs is not beneficial at all. And eating eggs actually just increases your cholesterol and causes heart disease and clogs your arteries. But let me tell you something, that is completely false. We've been eating eggs for thousands of years and heart disease has only really come onto the scene in the last 100. Time. Eggs are high in vitamin A, folate, the B vitamins and specifically B12, phosphorus and selenium. These eggs are so crucial for brain function and keeping your mind and body sharp. Eggs also have a brilliant macronutrient profile. They have around six grams of protein per egg and five grams of fat, which is a really good mix. Now, if you wanna up your fats like me, you'd be adding more fat to these eggs in the form of butter or tallow, just trying to get a little bit more fat in there to increase the satiation of the eggs and just to give them a bit more nutrition. Also, adding more fat just makes it taste so much better as well. Another amazing benefit of eggs is the cost. Eggs are pretty cheap uh, relative to a lot of other protein sources. So with eggs, 12 eggs, you're looking at around $5 Australian per dozen. I'll put the US amount uh, just on the screen. So yeah, you can get around 1,000 calories of bioavailable protein and really high quality fats, especially those saturated fats, uh, for only $5, so it's, it's a pretty good deal. Now here we go, the last food and most important food that I'll be eating for the rest of my life. And I think you guys already guessed it, it's beef. Beef is seriously the holy grail of the carnivore diet and anyone's diet in general. Beef and other red meats like this are the most nutrient dense foods on the planet. Its composition of vitamins, minerals, its macronutrient profile seems to be divinely created for human consumption. Beef is an excellent source of the B vitamins, especially vitamin B12. It has extremely good values of that, which is linked with reduced depression. Also selenium, zinc, iron, phosphorus, choline, thiamine, magnesium, and potassium. Also, depending on your goals and what type of food you want or just your personal preference, there's so many different cuts of red meat or beef that you can indulge in. So there's ribs, there's steaks, there's briskets, 
There's things that you can slow cook and roast. There's things that you can quickly fry up, like ground beef. There's so much options with beef. And just, there's something about beef that makes it so tasty every single time. I've probably eaten beef one to two times a day for the last three months. And unlike other foods, I haven't got sick of beef whatsoever. You can always switch it up and you can always make it just taste so good. Even just a steak, right? A steak tastes good every single time. I don't know what about it, it's just your body knows that the food is so nutritionally dense that it makes it taste good to you. And that's why I think that beef is the number one most important food in my diet and for you know the world's diet as well. Another amazing thing about beef is that it turns foods that we traditionally can't eat. So think about a cow, how they eat grass. Now, we can't absorb many nutrients from grass whatsoever, but a cow can, it can ferment it in its gut, and then you can, you, you know, you can slaughter the cow and eat the cow, and this cow has incredible amount of nutrients that we can use as humans. And that whole process of taking something that we can't use into something that we can use is seriously something that is sustainable. Now, unfortunately, I eat more than three foods. The reason for this is just simply personal preference. I like other foods. I like dairy, cheese. I like pork. I like lamb. I like to switch it up a bit. But if I was to only eat three foods, these would be those three foods. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out this video here, it's a really, really good one. Check it out. But yeah, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We really love having you along. Also, comment below. Uh, just comment anything. It's just super good um, for the community. So yeah, thanks, guys.